So we're on to the next project. It's uh, not quite a walking stick, but uh, it's a project I've been leaving around the house. It's a hatchet that I use mostly to take off the bark from, from trees. It's seen better days. It's been handed down in generations, uh, but the head's starting to get loose. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's starting to be loose up top. Uh, the handle's getting pretty beaten up, pretty chipped out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it off, sand it all down, uh, shine it up, wire brush, clean the head up, and then I've got a piece of hardwood. Um, going to remake the handle, try and make it a little fancier. It's not going to need a lot of force in this, um, so we can get a little fancy with the handle. Well, stay tuned. Let's see what uh, this one turns out to. where we're at uh, using the uh, 40 grit uh, little flap disc on a drill it's got the majority out I'm gonna leave most of the, uh, the the deeper pits I'm not going for a mirror finish this is gonna be for use not a wall hanger so I think it's, uh, it's pretty good so far we're gonna have to go through and do some hand sanding because 40 grit leaves the surface a little rough. But let's go ahead and do that. I've laid out my sketch. I'm going to make a little paper template. We're going to cut that out and trace it onto the wood and start cutting that out. So what we did is, uh, because I didn't have the thick thick enough stock or at least not as much as I would want these are uh, I think it was out of a 1x5 so I made two of them glued them together left them overnight uh, just took them out of the clamps and now we're going to be starting to shape it certainly beefy enough uh, we got a lot to trim down here but uh, gives us a lot of a lot of meat to chip away at so I think I'll start at the top uh, work our way down.
It's starting. We'll get there. There's a lot of trial and error. We're getting there. Slowly moving down. It's almost flush with the top. Sticking out maybe a sixteenth of an inch. I want to have it stick out at least a quarter inch or more up top. So a little bit more to trim along the edges here. A pretty tight fit so far underneath. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's not bad. A little gap in the front, but everything's staying straight down the center. And uh, we'll keep going. What you do is you hammer it on. You see parts that rub, sand off those parts, and keep going. There you have it. That's about as where I wanted it to be.
don't see at the bottom it's all seated nicely all the way around no gaps and the park protruding so we'll be able to put the wedge in now I think we finalized the axe. We uh, put a little cord hold in there, a little hole, reamed it out a little bit, pass the cord through afterwards once we finish it. I just wanted to show you before we put the finish on, just a little, uh, little decoration. Fits well, it's good size, you can hold it at the end. I think most of the time I'll be right here, a little fine work. I have a much larger two-handed axe if I ever wanted to drop a tree, but this is really just for taking off bark, uh, just for future projects. So let's go ahead, put some finish on that, and finalize it. So we're just going to be using uh, tongue and teak oil on that one. I think this uh, hardwood will come out real nice. Yeah, it's darkening up nicely, giving that nice, nice brown tone to it. Really making a nice, uh, nice sheen to it. So let's finalize this, and I'll show it to you at the end when it's all done. Just going to put a uh, string there at the bottom, have a little bit of paracord left over, just so that way we can hang it when we're back in the shed. So we'll just make it even, tie a pretty simple knot at the end of it. Nothing too fancy, it's just to hang on the wall here, or to hang it off a hook in the shed. And, uh, that way you don't warp the handle in any way. There we go. I think we're going to call this one done. So there you have it. Finalized axe. Little hatchet. Um, as we were cleaning it up, it showed a made in Sweden. And underneath the head, a uh, pound and a half. Uh, one and a quarter, it's written at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see it. A little one and a quarter written under there. It may not show up, but uh, so cleaned it all up, made it nice and sharp. I don't know if you can hear. Certainly sharper than it was. 
made it a little bit better profile. There, that might be a better shot for you. Nice comfortable handle right there under there. Good control, taking off the bark. That's what I majority use it for, taking off bark and uh, stripping down small stuff on my walking sticks. Nice curvature at the end if you need a little bit of power. A couple of details, just for show. A little paracord uh, wrap just to hang it off, uh, off the hook in the shed. I think that one came out nice. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Sometimes you uh, have to fix up some old tools to make the new art. So there you have it.